Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to host your website with infinityfree.com. Okay, so let's just begin. All right, so as you can see here the infinityfree.com. So let's click here. Infinity Free actually provide the free website hosting. Okay, so it is actually providing the free hosting for over the 10 years and it has the fastest free hosting. 99.9% uptime and unlimited hosting we have the completely free and it is completely free no credit card required and no hidden fee all right so now let's just create an account on infinity free so let's click on the register now okay so i have to create a temporary email now so i'm going to write down temp email click here Okay so let's just copy this email I'm actually using the temporary email uh for the tutorial purpose so if you want to use it for your own website you can use your email here so let's paste the email let's just agree the terms of the service and let's just click on the sign up All right so now I just need to provide my email here so let's just write down the email we also need to write down the password here Okay, so now let's agree on the terms of the service. So let's check here and click on the sign up button. Okay, so now we have to go to our Gmail, and from here I have to verify my email here. So let's click on the verify email address, and now you can see here we have verified our email. So now I have to create the hosting account. So if I wanted to create a new hosting account, I will simply click here create account. Okay so from here I can choose the sub domain or the custom domain so I will simply go with the sub domain right now so that would be the all right so sub domain is greatsite.net it will work fine so let's check the availability here okay so the domain is available all right so now what we need to do we have to enter the additional information so first of all we have the account level okay so I think I would go with this default value so the account username is actually uh, auto generated and we have the account password so i'll just simply leave this password field to generate the random password now let's just click on the create account here and as you can see here that our account is created now from here we can actually go into the control panel of infinity free as you can see this we have this important notice so you can simply read this so i would just simply click on i approve and as you can see here we have our control panel of the infinity free here okay so we have the home and we have the upgrade plans in the home we have the search for a new domain name if you want to search for the new domain you can simply search it from here and you have the preferences in which we have the update contact email getting started we have the account upgrades we have the account settings and after that we have the files so in the files we have the file manager we have the directory privacy we have the ftp account free ftp software and the backups and after that we have the databases so in the databases we have the php myadmin mysql databases and remote mysql and after that we have the domains So in the domains we have the add-on domains, subdomains, uh, LSS, Spark domains, and redirects. And after that we have the email, we have the metrics, we have the security, and in the security we have the IP blocker and SSL or uh, TLS. And after that in the software we have this app installer and alter PHP config. And in the advanced we have the cron jobs, we have the C name records and the error pages. in the last we have the support okay so the first of all i would actually go into the upgrade plans because i just want to see what kind of the plans they are offering for the hosting so in the hosting they actually have the two premium hosting the first one is the ultimate and the second one is the super so in the ultimate premium hosting they actually charge around 8 dollars per month and for the super premium they actually charge around 5 dollars per month and we have the payment terms and we have this a uh, free domain name all right so now let's just go back to our home and you can also see the statistics here so we actually have the free space of around 5 gb in the uh, free hosting plan so right now i'll just simply click on the file manager here and from here we have to go inside the hd docs 
okay so from here you can actually upload your website here so if you want to upload the custom website or if you want to upload the code of your website here you will simply upload the file of your website here all right so as you can see that we have this html file we can edit this file we can download this file and uh, copy the name create the zip archive and we also have these other options so here you can actually upload the file uh, you can download the file you can fetch the files and you also have the new file and you can also create the new file or the folder here and you can also create the new file or the folder here and you also have the other options here okay so let's just go into this edit file as you can see this we have this simple html code so if you want to modify this you can simply modify it from here so now let's just go back so this is the place where you can upload the code of your website if you want to upload the code of your website but if you want to create your website with wordpress or something like that you will simply go back from here all right so we have to go inside the panel and from here we have to go inside the apps installer so let's click here and from here you can actually install the wordpress for your website okay so as you can see here we have these top scripts here we have the wordpress we have the joomla we have the other apps here so you can install any app from here for your website so i want to have the website with the wordpress so i just simply click on the install wordpress all right so here we have the site settings we have the admin account we have the select plugin and choose language and from here i can actually choose the theme if i wanted to and from here we can actually choose the theme so now let's just go to the top of our uh, web page so here i would actually create the username that will be the admin all right so the site name will be the blog okay so that is okay so i think i have to select the theme here so i would go with this theme all right so now i just scroll down and simply install the wordpress on our website so it may take three or the four minutes uh, depends on the speed of your internet okay so let's just wait for it all right so the wordpress is installed on our hosting so let's click on our website here and you will be able to see our wordpress website with the custom theme that i have selected okay so that is the theme that i have selected and this is looking really great here all right so now let's just go back to our wordpress installer here and from here i would simply like to go into my wordpress dashboard so let's click here and as you can see that we are inside the dashboard of our wordpress website okay so if you wanted to create the post you can simply do it from here in the post and if you want to create the page you can simply do it from here and if you want to change the appearance of our wordpress website you simply go into the themes and from here if you wanted to install a new theme you can simply install it from here so i'll simply click on add new and i will search for the astro theme here click on install let's just activate our theme here okay so now let's go back to our website and refresh the page here okay so now if you wanted to customize the theme you simply click here and from here you can actually customize your theme here okay so as you can see this we have this astro theme editor so if you wanted to go into the page you will simply click here and you can change the layout of your page and in a similar way you can actually go into the blog and we have this two option blog or the single post so i simply click on the blog and you can change the layout of your blog you can change the sidebar layout and we also have the content width and we also have this other options here which you can simply customize in this video we learned to host our website with the infinity free and we also learned to install the wordpress on it and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel